Namaste yogis, welcome to class. Let's begin by warming up with a few rounds of cat cow. Coming into tabletop. As you inhale, lower the belly, find a back bend. As you exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, lower the belly, open the chest. Exhale, round the spine, lifting the back of the heart. Continue to move at the pace of your own breath. Synchronizing movement with breath. The next time you come to a back bend, press back, send the hips to the heels, and then round the spine as you come forwards. Inhale, belly down, send hips to heels. Exhale, spine rounds and come forwards for a dynamic cat cow. Inhale, moving back. Exhale, rounding and rippling forwards. Inhale, press back. Exhale, round, come forwards. Find a neutral spine and open the hands so fingers face the edges of the mat. Begin to rock from side to side. Warming up the wrist joint. Starting to move through full circles, shifting the weight all the way through the hands, going clockwise and anti-clockwise. Then after a few rounds like this, spin the fingers so that they face the legs. Holding here. And the knees can stay where they are. Or you might bring the knees in a little bit closer and sit down on your heels to deepen the stretch into the wrist and the foot. Flip your hands so the tops of the hands are now on the mat and we stretch the wrist in the opposite direction. Deepen your breath in these moments of stillness and release. Come back into tabletop and lower your way down to the belly. Bring the arms out to the sides and we'll Warm up with a few spinal strengthening drills. Inhale, lift the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, lower the arms down. Inhale as you lift and squeeze. Exhale as you lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, keeping the rest of the body still. Exhale as you lower. Inhale, lift, squeeze shoulder blades together. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Lift the head and the chest this time. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the head and the chest. Exhale, lower. Inhale, as you lift, press the tops of the feet into the mat. Exhale, lower. Inhale, as you lift, strengthening your spine. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Bring the forearms to the mat and settle in for Sphinx Pose. Activating your glutes to help support the lower back. Pulling your chest forwards. Rolling the shoulders back. Bring the hands next to the sides of the ribs. Roll the shoulders back, pull the chest forwards for Cobra Pose. Focus on pulling the chest forwards and rolling the shoulders back. So we're opening the upper and middle back. And if it's accessible, press into the hands and begin to extend the arms coming into a higher Cobra. Pulling the chest forwards, rolling the shoulders back. Breathing deeply. Lower the chest down to the mat and press all the way up for downward facing dog. Lift the hips. And settle into the hands and the feet. Steadying your breath.
Inhale, step the right foot forward to lower the back knee. Let the right knee track over the ankle, sink the hips down. And then reach the arms up, bring hands together. Lift the rib cage away from the hips and open the heart towards the sky. With each inhale, opening the chest. Exhale, letting the hips sink down to the mat. Slow and steady breaths. Lower the hands. Step back to plank pose. Lift the hips for downward facing and set the hands and feet. Inhale, the left foot steps forwards, lower the back knee, coming back into low lunge. Reaching the arms up, letting the hips sink down as you open the chest. Keep reaching the hands behind you so you're opening the upper back and the shoulders. Front knee is tracking forwards over the ankle. Hips going down towards the mat. Deep breath in. Exhale, lower the hands and step back to plank pose. Lower the knees, come into tabletop. Keeping the hips on tops of the knees, walk the hands forwards, sink the chest to the mat for poppy pose. Working on opening up your shoulders here. Option to keep the hands where they are with the arms parallel. If you'd like to take this one step further, bring the hands together in prayer and bend your arms to bring the hands to the top or the back of the head to increase the opening through the shoulders. Steady your breath, let your heart melt into the ground. Release the hands, slowly lift the chest, come back to tabletop. Then swing the legs round and come to lie down on your back and we'll do a couple of prep poses for wheel. Starting with bridge, bring the feet close to the backs of the hips. Feet are about hips width wide. Press into the feet to lift the hips. Press through the heels and squeeze your glutes. Keeping the head and neck relaxed, keep pressing through the feet as you lift the hips. Staying for a couple more breaths. Keep pressing through the feet. To come out, roll down the spine. Now we'll add on from here, bring the hands to the shoulders just above, lift the hips, press through the hands to roll onto the crown of your head and we're just holding it here. Press through the feet and the hands so that you take the weight out of the head. Keep squeezing your glutes to come out. Lower down the spine, release the head. Now putting this all together for wheel. If you know you need to modify, then see the modification video at the top of the screen. Using blocks to help elevate the wrists. If you're not modifying, then lift the hips, roll onto the crown of the head. Press into the hands to lift the head off the mat, coming into wheel. Keep pressing through the hands and the feet. Using the strength in your arms and your legs, send the chest forwards. Bring the shoulders over the wrists, then extending the legs if it feels accessible. Breathing steadily. To come out, bend the knees, lower down the spine and release the head. Beautiful work. Take a moment to imprint the spine into the mat and catch your breath. 
If you're feeling breathless, it's perfectly normal. It's a very challenging posture. Hug the knees into the chest. Open the knees out wide and you're either staying here or you're reaching for the outsides of the feet for happy baby. This is a beautiful posture to counter any backbending pose. Option to stay in stillness or to find a gentle rock from side to side to massage the spine. Begin to breathe deeply, lengthening your exhale. Release the legs. Keeping the knees bent, begin to circle the knees away from you and then draw them in close. Massaging the lower back and the sacrum. Taking this movement really slowly just to give your lower back some love. Release both legs down to the mat and settle into Shavasana. Take these next few minutes to rest and restore. Take as much time in Shavasana as you need. When you're ready to come out, begin by deepening your breath. Start to move your fingers and toes. Bring both knees into the chest. Bring the body into a ball. Roll onto one side and take a couple moments there. making your way up to a seated position with the eyes remaining closed. Sitting up tall, relax the shoulders down the back. Bring hands into prayer at heart center and bow the head, thanking your body for the incredible things it enables you to do. Thank you for joining me, namaste.